I am course leader for CAE and I do all the CAD and a lot of the simulation on the courses. So my aim is in these module, well these, these little videos is to try and just exploit different techniques, try and show you guys different things, easy ways. I'm, I'm, I really want to try and show you the real benefit of doing surface modeling, why we do surface modeling, what's the real difference with surface modeling. These um, little videos are to support what we're going to do in the classroom, but these will just be quick snippets, quick fixes, quick ways of creating what some will perceive as a complex surface, and really just al allow us to explore a few things. So what I thought about today is doing something, something dead, dead simple, dead straightforward. Um, I'm presuming that a lot of the time, if you've come to the class already, you'll have will will have started some basic things. So, what I thought we could do is something like this. What we're going to do is we're going to do a basic bottle cap. Um, it's a nice, easy geometry, nice thing to get going, dead straightforward, dead easy to do. So. First things first, let me just get me let me just get rid of that. First things first, let's open up a new. Now, a few things you need to keep in mind. I know some of you will be well used to using SolidWorks those who've never used it, please don't worry. That's what these little short sessions are for. They're gonna try and uh, touch wood. They're gonna try and help you be clear about how things work and what they're for. But what I'll be doing is that I'll be using a compilation of different tools in different examples that we'll explore a little bit more in MP3604. Um, so let's kick off. Click OK on one part. Now, before you do anything, need to tell you this. When it comes to surfacing, we are, we are emphasizing the use of surfaces, not solids. A surface is the surface area. A solid is the volumetric representation of that area. So what I'm actually interested in is surfaces. If you look on your toolbar, you may not have this. So if you don't see a tab called surfaces, right click on any of these. So I'm going to right click on weldments, for example. Scroll down and you'll see surfaces. If you don't see it, there will not be a check there. If there is a check there, happy days. Do not worry. Let's crack on. What I'm going to do is go into my surface. Now we're going to use a couple of these tools. What I think we're going to use, I say a thing because I'm just making this up as I go along. What I think we're going to use to try and give us that, that odd shape of a bottle cap because we've got a circular profile which leads to, you know, like a better word, like a star profile. But it, each star points, they don't meet at a perfect point. They often have gaps in between. We'll start off with the basic gaps, see, see where that takes us, and then let's refine and do a little, little bit of changing and see what happens. So let's go from the top. What I want to do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, I'm going to sit the bottle cap actually on the top plane. So first things first. If now in my mind I've just thought right what I'll do is I'll have it sitting on the top plane I could model it the other side if you will so I could start from the top of the actual bottle cap and work downwards but I always <laughs> this sounds silly but I always think of the, the, the planes to be like a table if you will um, it's just a personal thing so I know it sounds weird it sounds weird saying it but it, it is just how I've operated for a long time so I don't have any dimensions. Oleg, nightmare, pain in the backside. How can we generate something with no dimensions? It's heresy. It's absolute crap. Somebody turns up with a drawing of something that you've got to produce, and don't get me wrong, there can be some of the shittest drawings you've ever seen in your life. How are you going to produce these things? Um, that's what this is about. That's why. That's what makes this advanced. How do you actually extract useful stuff that can be manufactured, that can be taken forwards from what appears to be the world's worst drawing you've ever seen in your life with no dimensions on? So, we know that we're going to do a bottle cap. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a perimeter. Uh, a per perimeter. Peri perimeter. Um, this was going to be my, bo my bottom. 
Now, I'm going to use a few things to my advantage. I don't really know much. I don't know dimension-wise. I mean, for argument's sake, let's put a dimension on it. So we'll hold it like that. We, there's not much more we can really do with it. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a center line. Now, for those of you who are competent in CAD, you will know the benefits of using center lines. So I'm going to draw it down. For those who haven't used, are not used to doing this, as you bring the line in, you'll see. See the yellow um, vertical marker. I'm going to bring that down. Keep bringing it down and then it will locate itself see the uh, orange location mark there that's the locator just telling me where it sits kind of like that so then what I'm going to do is we're going to create the famous curve let me just call this back Let's bring this back up something like this see these curves here we're going to call these curves we're, we're going to essentially make these curves what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to presume it's the three point arc. Again, arguably, we could put more detail into it, but for this fast, um, quick way of making a complex surface, it'll be ideal. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw my markers here and then put my line in. But you look and go, what the hell is that crap? I mean, I'm saying it myself. The issue is, is I want I want this to be centralized to the center line. That's why I put the center line in, of course. Press control, keep your finger on control. I'm gonna select the first three point end arc, the second three point end arc, and the center line that I'm using. Right, the same with all the three selected, look to the left side and you'll see symmetric. This allows me, boom, I'm instantly now relative to the center of the line and I can play around with this as much as I like I can change this as much as I like um, what I'll do is I'm just gonna like, again this is such an estimation and I know some of you will be sitting there going oh, I don't like this estimation stuff when you're doing surfacing when you're trying to generate something and if you don't know any dimensions for it it's a nightmare don't get me wrong as we're going through uh, MP3604, we're going to do a variation. We're not just going to do conceptual all the way through. We're going to bring in dimensions as well and operate into dimensions. We're going to try and exploit the idea of doing smart design and using everything you've got to your advantage. Because if you get bad drawings, which I need to warn you now, some of the drawings I give you, I give you these drawings because they are bad. I want to try and push you so much that you're just screaming with what the hell is going on and then I trust me you'll get to the end of it and you'll think oh yeah so bear with me okay so in the sketch tools notice here we have linear pattern linear pattern is in itself it's like it says I, I explain this for those who've never seen this before um, it's not to the right side we have an arrow drop it I'm gonna go circular pattern now See on the parameters, it's saying, give me a point that you're going to use for a circle. I'll probably use here. I'll probably use, oh, I'll use that as a circle. And then it's saying, what profile are you going to use? Now, because I was messing, then it's put my arc in by accident. So I'm going to clear that. And I'm going to say, I want to use my three point arc here. Now, it's, now you, if you know the exact um, dimension, which you very well might, again, I'm, I'm free uh, sketching this if you will just to give us that profile but you might know it if you know it happy days get it in but sometimes you don't so what I'm gonna do is you'll notice here I'm using equal spacing just because I want to give myself that curved profile if you will so if you look there we've got a bit of a curved profiling here um, I think I'll stay with that I'm quite happy with that Okay, so when we look round, that is looking pretty sweet at the minute. I mean, hell, we're drawing this at freehand, so to speak. I'm trying to put wherever I can to get a dimension in there, but it's not straightforward, as you're probably finding out already. So the next thing I'm going to do is, what I want to do is I want to tidy this up. Now, again, some of you will think, yeah, I know this. 
but this is just for those who are a little bit unsure so I'm going to use trim entities you can use trim to closest so if I click there there and I can do it like that some of you may know power trim so I'll click on power trim if you never use it press control keep your finger on control left click and drag in a line well drag in the direction that you want to trim it back at like that there's no right or wrong way of doing this it's whatever you feel most confident in because that's what this is about you getting confident in doing your design as you want it to be so I'm just going to go all the way around click OK now you'll notice that this is a new thing it irritates me a bit but ha, small problems am I right um, you'll not, <laughs> notice it fills it in and it's instantly presuming from the start I am doing a solid I'm not doing a solid but it just irritates me I know it's stupid I know but it just irritates me so what I'll do is come out with this sketch now it's good practice to always name your sketches to always name what it is that you're doing to give yourself reference so you can go back and go oh shit yeah yeah I know what I was doing so what I'll do is I'm just gonna rename the sketch let's just call it this profile so we've got a base profile right so I'm just gonna rotate it up to give me a perspective of how everything's looking don't forget this is sitting on the top plane so we need a depth now so I'm gonna go top plane and what I'll do is I'm gonna put on a new plane So, I don't know, 30, 30 mil seems a bit short, let's go 40 mil, uh, I think that seems a bit long, go back to 30, I'm going to stay with 30, again, we're doing this freehand, we just don't know, um, I'm not sure what, if I ended up with 60, 70 planes, it's a good point to be able to reference to it, so I'm going to left click, left click again, so if you left click, wait, then left click, You'll notice it automatically renames. It's a shortcut for renaming. So I'm going to call this uh, bottle top. I'll call it bottle top plan because at least then it still refers to what it's on. Because you'll notice I called it base profile and so forth. So let's go to the bottle top plan and then let's do a sketch. What I'll do on here is I'm going to come onto circle and. I'm going to put my circle on. Now, this is going to be fun, actually, because we we can use stuff now to our advantage. So, what I'll do, right, I've just drawn a random circle. I'm going to go Control and 8. Control and 8 is a shortcut for normal to view. Amaze balls. Absolutely saves your backside sometimes. I'd always recommend it. What I'll do is I will hold a restraint between the bottle cap, bottom, and the actual circle I'm putting on so let's put a restraint on that and give it I don't know oh let's take it to a nice round number I'll go 20 20 mil we can change that because we're in a lot of control right now because we are essentially controlling everything so let's say you've been told to do this ha ah, you've been told to this bottle cap but your 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 boss does not give you any dimensions this still allows you to produce this still allows you to make a dummy and then the second somebody drops you drops dimensions on your desk boom you've nailed it you know exactly where things need to be you know exactly how to refine your drawings because you've prioritized the sketches interestingly if you're using Katia, SolidWorks, Inventor, Pro-E, NX everything is prioritized to a sketch you get that sketch right and I don't care what you're using you will be the best and that is what all my focus is in this entire module so let's change this sketch I'm gonna rename this as top profile and I'm just get rid of I did everything else lowercase I know I know it's silly really but you know it is you look and go I can't do that so top profile right so I'm going to turn my sketch off for the minute 
notice here we have a lower base and upper base let's start to generate it I'm gonna go surfaces in tutorial notes four six sorry we study boundary surfaces what I'm gonna do is left click on my circle boundary surfaces by the way just if you've not read them if we've not even hit the notes yet the boundary surface is like best way to describe it, it's like an upgraded version of lofting we will exploit this again and again but I'm just wanting to do quick fast geometry for you to look at ways of generating complex surfaces so select them there right see we have uh, for those who've done lofting before you will know that when you do any sort of lofting there is always a guide marker these little green markers funnily enough in lofting in um, boundary surfaces if I put another profile on the side I can actually refine that more in fact let's do that in a minute so let's, I'm just going to drag it around a little bit and let's set that it's not a bad start I quite like that so I'm gonna right. So I'm gonna close that off. Few ways to do it. Um, I think I might go filled surface again. Filled surface. This is. Um, hold on one second. This is lecture notes seven. What I'm gonna do is I want to automatically select this. Now that's a big pain in the ass, you know. You kind of go around. I'll click this line. And this, if you have sixty or hundred or a thousand profiles, you're going to be busy. So I'm going to right click. See how we have here? Select open loop. Select tangent. Select uh, open tangency, or select just tangency. Let's go select open tangency. What it does picks everything up. If anybody's interested in why my uh, why my <laughs> why my blue glowing looks as good as it does it's because I'm running a, a NVIDIA Quadro NVIDIA Quadro dad is this type of thing it's phenomenally good crap for gaming but brilliant for this type of stuff so all the edges are selected I'm gonna click OK and then we have a cap now uh, I don't know how much we'll have covered of it yet we will do soon so first things first I need to just rename this I'm gonna rename the actual geometry here I'll just call this bottle skirt bottle skirt on the top of the face itself I'll call this bottle cap top right so we're now well refined um, in any sort of profile you'll notice here I've got this see that look at Oh nightmare that um, to reiterate I know I will have talked about this but to reiterate when you create a surface what it actually thinks is so if I just bring down to surface bodies what it actually sees is two separate surfaces it says this is one surface and this is another surface it actually sees them as two separate surfaces depending on how complex these surfaces are when they interact can even lead to errors so progressing on this type of stuff you need to be very careful so what I'm going to do is knit these two together and then merge the edges actually in to create a continuous geometry if I do this right the blue line which indicates that it's the end of one surface meeting another because if you notice here we've got blue lines at the end as well this confirms that that is the edge of the surface so if I go to knit surface what I want to do is I want to try and merge the entities. These are entities between them where I'm going to merge them together to create a, an overall geometry. So I'm going to left click on the top, left click on the skirt, see there, bottle cap top, bottle skirt, merge the entities, run it. Happy days, look at that. See the black continuous line? What it's saying is I could see a perfect match between the two merge them together if we go to surface bodies here you'll see there it's down as one surface knot knit surface knot <laughs> so let's add a fillet in there because bottle caps I, don't, I think they kind of smooth on the edge but again we're making this up as we go along so what we're going to do is now this there we go fillet we're going to use the standard constant 
constant size fillet and we're going to come from the edge 10 mil okay let's just let's juice it up a little bit let's go 15 go 15 mil um, let's just drop off to give a, a, a rough render yeah quite happy with that that looks cool right I'm very happy with that I mean to say that we're doing this purely by eye it emulates what we're looking for the beauty is now though is oh, wrong button the beauty is now is if we come back let's say boss comes back I know he's I know your boss is not gonna say about a sodding bottle cap but let's say a boss comes back and he says right the base your base is too wide so you got it's okay I've got it nailed instantly you've got control what we started off with no dimensions but then all of a sudden we've made them dimensions irrelevant well I mean to, to a degree obviously you need the dimensions to be able to manufacture it for it to fit but what we've been able to do is create the geometry that we're after with no dimensions but when I keep saying the boss but when the the manager who or whoever I'm gonna make that slightly small let's hear it um, but when the manager comes to see and says right I don't like this don't like that you can easily say that it's fine and you can just fix it simple as that so we've got our surface profile that we're interested in next thing I'm interested in is don't forget it's a surface area really it needs to have a thickness it needs to be slightly thicker surely or else because it's infinitely thin technically totally unmanufacturable so what I'll do is I'm simply going to thicken it see here thicken um, let's select the actual profile notice there this is traveling inwards <laughs> it's, uh, I'm going to travel it thickness inside wow that's a bottle cap that would probably support a car let's bring that in make it a bit more sensible take it out by a factor of 10 right okay so I mean we've got one mil we could go thicker so let's go one mil right so we've got that nice thin aluminium junk that you know you normally get on your bottle cap so what I'll do is the other thing is when you thicken always keep in mind look at that mess nightmare I mean technically when these things are brought out they're actually a place they're, they're, they're bent into shape right so really it probably would look like that but let's say you were going to make I've had some weird stuff come up before so let's say you're going to make a coaster some people like bottle caps as coasters so a um, few ways of doing it so you'll notice here that we're onto the thicken really all we need to do is if I go to my let's go front plane let's go sketch and sketch let's just draw I'm gonna I'm gonna track in from the edge of the profile of the bottle bring it across and then let's do an extruded cut take that entirely through both sides come back and we've now got a flat surface that'll interface directly and I just need to point out for your assignment <laughs> I am not um, marking you on rendering so the next thing I'm about to do is just just for just for appearance so just to make it a bit more prettier and let's go something let's let's stick a bit of um, platinum yeah all right then uh, painted surface let's go sprayed let's just make it red yeah that went really well really well okay uh, that actually did not what I was expecting so <laughs> so I'm gonna go back let's try that again oh no, no. that's because I'm actually in the come here swine 
There we go. Let's turn the whole thing. Not to the face. Let me come back off. Let's just clear that off. Clear. It's like the whole body. Thank you. Tell you, this system sometimes winds the crap out of me. So, let's bring that back out. Let's take that off. And there we have, I don't know, a Coca-Cola bottle cap. Um, this has been brought to you by me. Um, this is, what we've really done here is we've done a little bit of sketching. We've done a little bit of control on the sketches. We've refined a certain size. We've put that straight onto it. We've used um, the boundary surface. We've used filled surfaces. We've knitted the surface together. Then we've done a little bit of filleting. Then we thicken that profile out, trimmed, trimmed the bottom face off. That now would be totally 3D printable and you could easily, easily make that as a profile. Um, I hope this has been an, a nice little bit of an intro. It's a basic one just to get everybody warmed up onto the bigger stuff that we'll be doing. Um, my name's Matt Dickinson. If there's anything that you need, please feel free to drop by the office. I am more than happy to try and help you wherever there is any issues. But if not, I'll speak to you soon and I hope you found it useful.